Hi everyone, welcome to another video for the engineer. So before I proceed, so today another interesting topic we are going to discuss. So we have a very interesting topic that we'll be discussing about the download manager. So I'm sure many of you are aware of how to use the download manager in SAP system. So in SAP download manager, suppose you are planning for any upgrade or maybe uh, any major upgrade like UHP upgrade or maybe you want to do the installation or want to generate the stack XML to maintenance planner. So you can push all this, you know, downloads of the to the download manager. From there, you can directly download because if you start downloading one by one file, it will be taking a lot of time and also in between it will show you as resources not available. OK, so for that reason. What you need to do is for the download manager, whenever we have a two ways to use it, one is the Windows, another is the Linux. So Windows is very easy, but again, double work you need to download in your remote desktop or in the desktop. Then you need to update in the server. Alternatively, you can also directly do in the Linux, but for Linux, there are certain things you need to plan. I'll discuss about it today. And people who have not taken the membership yet, uh, to be very honest, we have very less membership options here right now. So a lot of people are not opting for it. I understand everybody wants to see the free content. You can still see that, but you can support us by taking the membership and just uh, charges and the charge is just 90, 119 rupees. Not even, you know, like uh, it's less than a dollar, less than, uh, I mean, you can say less than $2. It's like close to one and a half dollars. So you can just try to get the membership that will support us to invest our time and create a videos here. Now let's see on the Windows platform. So for this one, you can just go to Google and you can try to search download manager SAP and you can get it from here and you can directly download. There are two options are there. So one is so you have um, 3.1.2, 3.2.1. So either of the version, this is the latest one which is released on January 2025. So now let's see how we're going to use it. So that's very, very important to know. So for the Windows, so you just need to download it. And once you download, you can just go to download manager and you can just open this one. Ensure that you have a JRE available in your system. In your desktop, the Java runtime must be set. If in your Windows machine, the Java runtime is not set properly, you won't be able to connect. And here I can just connect to my username here and. Then I can define the download store here where I want to store the files. So then I can see all the files whichever are here and based on that I can select and download the file. Any file you can select it. So for an example, this is the file. So I can go here and just select it and it will be downloaded to my location which I specified. So this is the use case of download manager. Do not download the file manually. It will take a lot of effort for Java system. It is still OK for a BAP system. It's going to take endless time. So do not waste your time by doing this. This is in your desktop, which is for the Windows. But for Linux as well, you can directly upload the files there, which is again a very good feature. But there are a few things you need to take care of in Linux. So I'm using Red Hat Linux. So very first thing you're going to check is your Java version. So you need to know what is your Java version here. So this is what you need to check. My current Java version is 1.7.0.45. Okay, and now let's see if I try to launch it, what should be uh, if I can try to. So I've downloaded these files. So you can see. You can see the DLM here. OK, and this is the file I extracted. Then I see I unzip the file and then I see this file. DL manager dot chart file and the rule is very simple. So you have to use this format Java jar and the file name. And when I try to launch it, you can see 
there's an exception, uh, unsupported major minor. This is a very common issue because for the DLM using right now for this one, this is 3.2.1, so 1.7 JRE is not compatible. So all I need to do is I need to uh, check if any JREs are there. I need to download and I can install it 1.8. And in our case, I just try to install it. So. Okay, let me check the location. Okay, so let me check the Java location. You can use this command to check your Java location. Okay, so in case you don't have it, so don't worry. You can just run it again. And this is the location of my JVM right now. So I'll go inside this JVM. Let's see. And if you also want to update, you can just go here. Keep your JRE file you need to download because this one we can say this is for Linux. Uh, this is a two two zero two. This is nothing but your JRE one point uh, eight. So if you want to update, so since, since it's a Red Hat, you can use the yum command to install the RPM package. I'm not going to cover that right now, but if you want the command, I can simply show you here. You can use this uh, RPM command here and based on that. So now as I've already installed it, so I can also try to do this one. So so don't be on install. You will see since it is already installed, it will be giving you an you know like the prompt like it is already installed. But if you want to install, you can just go here. Nothing to do because I already updated. Since it is already updated, you can see all the JRE packages and all the Java packages which has been installed in your system. Very, very important to use the right JRE. For me, it's required 1.8. So all I need to do is I need to just see the alternative configuration for the Java, and I'm just going to use this one and run it. So you can see here the option 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm going to select uh, either the you know option 7, you can select it, or option 8, you can select it. So let me select the 7 option here. Similarly, for the Java C as well, I'm not going to I'm going to select the same option five. So now if I try to check the Java JRE version here. You can see current is 1.8. Now let's try to launch the download manager. Then you will see whether we can do that or not. It's very important. Our download manager should work only when you have the suitable JRE. Otherwise, you cannot use it in Linux. Let's paste it here. Perfect. So you can see now the front is open here and here it is. Authentication, you can give the email ID or sorry, your if you have SAP passport, you can provide it or you can just go with the basic authentication like how I am doing right now and the download store. You can select any location as you wish to. So that's OK. So you need to set the proper thing, proper permission, and then it will work. So this is how it is. You can always change the download manager configuration here. So whichever file you create. So directly it will store the file here instead of downloading in the server and updating. So that is all for now. I hope you find this video helpful and in case you feel it is helpful to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also opt for membership. Your small support can boost us, boost our confidence, boost our morale to create more videos. And also we are starting our new batch for SAP HANA advanced batch, SAP AWS and BTP, Cloud LM and S4 HANA administration. So if you are interested, Please connect with my team on 8466880880. If you need any further information, you can also reach out on the same number. Alternatively, you can use the website live chat option as well to get the more information. So thanks once again for watching the video and spending your precious time to learn something new today. Take care and have a great day.